Hi, welcome to my second YouTube tutorial on uh, Business Objects Web Intelligence. Today we'll be covering cross tabs, grouping data, and subtotals. And for the basis of our report, we're going to use the eFashion universe again. As our objects, we will select a year, quarter, category, color, and remember if you want to search for an object and you know the name, you can just type it in and it will go to the location automatically. Okay, and all we need now is a measure and we're going to select sales revenue. We're not going to be bothered uh, with filters at the moment because the data set a bit in, on the, in the eFashion universe is not very large. So we need all the data we can get uh, to do a decent cross tab. Okay, so by default it will generate a vertical table. Um, if you, if I have a look here at the templates, you can select many different tables. You can have horizontal tables, a vertical table like this one, a cross tab, which we're going to do now, and a form. Also, you can create many different chart types, which we'll be co I'll be covering in a later tutorial. So if we want to do a cross tab, you'll start off by uh, deleting this vertical table. And then from our template section, we just drag in the cross, oops, the cross tab. Okay, and start off with pu putting some data in it. Uh, start off with the measure. And then we're gonna drag in our year object just drag it and drop it in the column where you want to display it and then we're going to have quarter and I'm going to drop that right underneath the year object okay so we're almost there we just need a category now okay and this is our first simple cross tab and what we want to do now is we've got uh, 2000 we've got about three years worth of data and we're going to insert a subtotal uh, every time the year changes. So we're going to highlight the year object, the year row, and then we'll click this button, insert, remove, break. And you notice every time the year changes, we've got this column here. So what we do now is we're going to populate it with our subtotal values. We do that by clicking on the data and then clicking on the sum column here. Okay, so we've got our... Um, We've got our subtotals and a, and a grand total here in the back and we want to probably make the layout look the exact same as um, as the, the columns that contain the quarters. The way we do that is we click on the column which has the, the format we'd like to use, then you click on the format painter button here. And then you click on the on the column you want to copy you want to uh, to paste the format. Okay, and we do the same again for this one. Okay, now we all we need to do is right align the data. So highlight the two, um, the two rows, and then we select from this button here, uh, right alignment. Okay, and we're gonna do the same for our uh, grand total column on the right. So I I select my format painter and then I click on the column to copy the format and I do the same again. Okay, and I'm going to right align this as well. Okay, so now we've got a, a decent cross tab. Um, what we want to do now is we've got our categories, but uh, I want to break those down by colors as well. So I'm going to drag this in here. And I want to show a subtotal for the each time the category changes. So we got a total for all the colors within each category. So we highlight the category column, click uh, insert, remove, break. And it's again like we did before. We are going to highlight the, uh, the data we want to subtotal and then click on the um, click on the total uh, total column uh, total button. Sorry. Okay and 
you'll notice that um, every time I, when I inserted the sum here, it inserted the sum, it added again another uh, another column. So we we don't need this. So if we want to delete it, we right click, select remove, remove column. Okay, and again here it inserted an extra one as well. So right click, remove, and remove column. The last thing I want to do is center the uh, the year value across uh, each of the breaks so it just looks a bit nicer. Uh, the way you do that is make sure your uh, year row is selected and then click on the properties tab and under the break section there should be a field called uh, center values across break. If you click this you'll notice that uh, the value gets centered in each of the breaks so it looks a uh, it looks a bit nicer okay thank you very much for listening um, the things we covered in this tutorial were uh, cross tabs uh, we dived a bit more into formatting grouping data and uh, subtotals thanks very much for listening and look forward to seeing you again in my next video tutorial thanks